Hey, what's going on everybody? Want to jump in today, do a quick video on some common mistakes I see people make in Excel. Heck, I even make them still to this day. I've been an analyst for 15 years, professional environments. Um, these things happen. It's all good. We just need to keep out, keep an eye out, be aware of them. All right, number one, absolute versus relative references. So suppose we were given the job to apply an inflator of 5% to these rents that we're showing in this table. We have a new column called new rent, and we wanna take the current rent times one plus 5% and get our new rent. Now, if we were to drag this down, we would have a problem. We see that these did not change. And the reason being is if I click up in this formula bar, what happened is when I drag this, it took the cell reference to the inflator down dragged it off of the correct cell so in order to avoid this let's go back to our original first cell click in the formula i'm going to click the f4 key we see the dollar signs pop up that means that this cell is now locked that this is an absolute reference when i drag this this will not drag let's click enter down and we can see it's correct now here properly inflating by 5%. All right, the next mistake I see a lot of people making is hard coding a value. Now, I'll just use a quick example. Again, we'll create our, create our new rent column. And what, I, what I'm talking about by hard coding a value is they take the current rent times one plus, and they will just type in the inflator, in this example, an inflator click enter, and then off they go. Why this is a problem is this is hugely inefficient. So let's suppose we wanted a different inflator depending on the community. Or we had our boss or someone else working with the sheet that comes in and sees our inflator assumptions down here, and they start wanting to do scenario testing. All right, let's make this 7%, see what happens. 10%, oh, not, this isn't changing, what's going on? They're going to expect this to be linked. They do not want this hard-coded value in here. Next is, the next mistake I see a lot of people make is not refreshing a pivot table. So for whatever reason, let's say a number of people have their rent drastically dropped to some unrealistic amount of $100. Oh, can't seem to press the right button. Now, say your phone rings, you walk away from your desk, somebody asks you a question, and this pivot table you have on the other sheet that summarizes that data, you forget to refresh it, and then you package this up, throw it in another document, and off you go. So a good practice to avoid this mistake is anytime you change the original data set and you have a pivot table linked to it, hop right over there, right-click, refresh, and there you can see the new values. Okay, this is a big one that catches me from time to time. Let's say we have a filter applied, so we're only looking at certain floor plans for whatever reason. And you know, we get the instruction, hey, apply that 5% inflator, but apply it to everything across the board. Oh yeah, okay, we can do that new rent. And we have our new rent column inflated by 5%, good. We can see the scenario. Now the problem is if you work from this table, uh, run a pivot table off of it, run some averages, the fact that you have a filter on here, what that means is that those filtered rows did not uh, were not addressed. So let me clear this filter, and here's what I mean. There's just these gaps in the data. Something to be aware of, don't get caught with that one. Next common mistake, under, not understanding if there's sensitive info in hidden sheets. Excel has the ability to let you take a sheet, right click, hide. Um, this is usually done for, so when a workbook shared with someone, you don't have a bunch of tabs across the bottom confusing them, that it gets right to the point, show them right what they need to see. Now, where this could become a problem is, Say we're dealing with someone that only needs to see these handful of communities, 
Yet in, in a hidden sheet, we have data about all the communities, the whole enterprise. And what all this person has to do is right click on hide. And they can see there's a sheet in here called confidential and it has a bunch of info. That could be a problem. Just understand if there's any hidden sheets. A good way to check this, right click. Okay, it won't let me unhide anymore. Nothing is hidden. The next big mistake I see, including zeros in your average. So let's say a number of residents moved out and whoever's managing this data set just puts zero values in for their rent. Now, if we were to run an average, what is the average rent for Breezy Village? It's going to incorporate these zeros wherever they're present. And we don't want that. That's going to drag down the average uh, more so than is accurate. So if we were to go in our pivot table, right click, refresh, we could see these amounts drop by a ton. Rather, in a situation like this, what you should do is leave these blank or what they call in database world null, N-U-L-L. -L. That way that zero will not drag down the average. All right, I saved the best for last. This is a disastrous mistake. And yes, I get caught with it from time to time. For whatever reason, let's say you get a column inserted in your data set and it could get shrunk down where you don't even really see it. It's kind of hiding in there. Let's make it bigger though. So this is easier to explain. And now let's say you want to sort this table, this full table by community name from A to Z. So you click community name, you go to data. All right, here's the button, do a quick sort from A to Z. What's gonna happen when I click this? It's only gonna sort things on this side of the blank column. Everything on this side will remain as it is and it will totally destroy your data set. Uh, it is ruinous if you don't catch it in time. So let's do it. Sort A to Z. You can see that worked, it's sorted. Nothing changed on this side. This move-in date floor plan and rent has nothing to do with this uh, Delia Thompson record. Totally broken. So be very cognizant of spaces in your data set. Uh, um, to be honest, you should never have a space in your data table. So this should be a huge red flag. Do not allow this. All right, those are just some common mistakes I see. I've been doing this for 15 years. Um, certainly there are many more. So I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned. More to come. Thank you.